Okay, this is part four or five, who knows of how many, on fabricating a tilt bed assembly. And I'm working on a 1990 Chevy half ton pickup. Just want to let you know as an update, here's kind of where I've designed this uh, slide rail. I've got a wheel inside here. This is a two and a quarter inch square tubing. And then I've got a, a two inch wheel inside there for that to slide down this rail as you tilt it. And then you can get a, a view there. That's the actuator. That's like a 1,300 pound actuator. So that, and you can see that I have it at a backward, I've got it at an angle going away from the hinge. And I had to do that for a wide variety of reasons. But anyway, I'll go ahead and raise the bed for you. It takes about 45 seconds for the bed to raise. I've just got a small you know, push button switch and just ground one side of it. And like I said, it takes about 45 seconds to go. It's very quiet, and I doubt you can hear it at all. Um, and then I'll show you what I do once I get it up. It didn't quite go exactly the way I wanted it to go, but that's okay. I decided I was just going to try it anyway, and if it didn't work, being a, you can see the sharp angle that the actuator is on, actually going away from the hinge, but it does pivot at the bottom, which is why it still continues to go up, and then when it reaches the top, it will stop automatically. That's something that's done inside the motor. There it stopped. Now to get it to go down, I just reverse the wires, attach the black to the hot, ground your positive side. Now, this won't allow you, it sort of allows you enough room to access the fuel tank, but I kind of wanted it more so that the whole purpose you know, is to show off the underneath. So if you lift up, you'll watch as the actuator slides down the rail. The noise you heard is the inside of the right rear tire is hitting that inner wheel well. <clears throat> but I kind of wanted to leave it there just because I do plan on driving the truck. And I figured this way it will uh, catch as much road grime and all that. So I'll take you a little bit closer. But you see this allows you really good access to underneath and you go to fill the tank because I'm going to put a short connection here on that line. But I had to make this cross brace running from here all the way across in order to uh, mount the actuator. And then on the actuator I had to actually put a, a pull back so that uh, when you're ready to go down you have to pull that backwards in order to get it back. But it will sit in this position. And as you can see, that's, that's a pretty good tilt. And because the hinges are over the wheel, lets you see where